Universe Universe Day is a new day hey, we got a what? We got a I saw the new hair color man I did this for y'all on return I'm asking you guys to get me to 10,000 uh, followers on Instagram just cuz just cuz I brought y'all the banger the heaters and especially recently I've been bringing out here so uh, if you guys want to see more bangers from me make sure you go to my Instagram and follow it and once you get me to 10k on Instagram we almost at 7k so it's easy to get me from 7k to 10k right just like three more thousand follow us, uh, followers and I will be dyeing my hair a new color and this color is going to be so <laughs> excuse me guys this color is going to be like a banger like you're going to be like amazed by it super super amazed by it so make sure you give me to 10k because this is this is a guarantee I guarantee that you will be amazed by it so yeah let's get into the video though all right guys today we're gonna do one month of dreadlock update and uh, that is of course the new dreadlock i started with i don't know if i can call it restart my dreadlocks but i, I think it is starting a new set of locks they call it growing your undercut it's not on the side it's going to be in the back of my neck but before i get into that i wanted to uh, read off some of your suggestions on um, based on what i should do with it to get it to catch up to this two and a half years of growth yes this is two and a half years also i'm gonna get into this journey and like the color where we at today but before I get into that I want to read off basically what you guys have suggested in the last video so here it is basically I'm gonna react to the one that I said I'm restarting my dreadlocks which is this one right here so I'm gonna go to comment section uh, dye your hair back to the original color but the length of it now and get them attached to the undercut basically what he's saying is dye this color grow the undercut and then attach the locks that's a good idea it feels we're in the process of trying to add some more locks after doing an undercut or whatever uh, haircut that have grown back but just get an idea how you want your locks to look as a new lock style regrowth journey but I'm glad um, uh, that I grew my undercut back then locked it up so now my head feels fuller and everything that, that, that's what's up man I'm on the third and final set you got this oh thanks bro Mike I appreciate your support by the way man what really motivated me to start was getting tired of my natural hair and visiting my lactation for a consultation in your case just try to leave it your hair on top of your uh, on the top down at the time until it grows out so basically leaving this whole hair out like like how I was covering it right now until it grows out slice line I appreciate your comment also you always comment with the new growth amount of hair growth doesn't mean that the that portion goes through the ugly stage for me the final outlook of the new locks will look super cool you will go through the ugly stage quote unquote but I call it rough stage now. I will go through that, but I think I can make it. You know, that's that's the, the goal that I was making that video for. Like, should I go for it? And we'll motivate you guys to get it get it done, basically. Because I needed a little bit of more. You can call it an advice, like what your guys' thoughts is. Because this journey is going to be all done together with the sets that I have right now. So I don't know if you guys were going to be with it or not. Hey, at least you got the top of your head uh, covered. Rest uh, covered the rest. I agree. You can definitely do what uh, one dude said. Cut them and add those. That's true. And then the bar bishop said, uh, it's crazy because I'm doing the same thing, but I'm going to wait until my locks hit a uh, good length and cut them half the length eventually and crochet them back in the back. That is definitely possible. Man, I'm scared, but let's do it. Oh, this guy, Tentacion. <laughs> Not the real one, but of course, uh, a person that follows or subscribe to my channel said that uh, he wants to do the same thing, like like start his journey again. And he doesn't have, I think he cut off his set or something like that. Yeah, I think he cut off his set, but he wants to start. So I was like, come on, come on with it, man. Let's let's do it. If, especially if more people are doing it. Like for those of you guys that haven't started your dreadlocks, but have just been watching my uh, dreadlock channel. If it's, if you haven't started yet, this is your time to do so. What are you waiting for? Let's just get to, to do it together. I have created a pineapple world where your journey matters. So that's another place that we can all connect to. So like, I, there is the help accountability that we need is there. That's all I'm saying. So let's do this, man. Let her grow a little bit more and start doing braids. Oh, that'd be cool like to start doing like different hairstyles in the back. <laughs> yeah, I'll be weird. Like what if I had a cornrows going down? <laughs> oh my God, this is gonna be a great journey. I knew you were going to start locks in the back of your head. I could have tell, but uh, yeah, man, I've been like, I know I'm not reading it fully because I know I've read it before. So if you guys have, you guys can see it on the screen. I started doing this one time and then I kind of was like, I don't want to do this and I cut it. And then this time I was just like, you know what? First of all, I'm tired of cutting the back of my head because I do my own, you know, cutting my own hair. So I was like, I'm tired of it. So 
I let it keep sitting. I keep on cutting this part and this part. And then out of nowhere, I'm like, boom, what if I grow it like to actual, like lock it up? So I don't know. I haven't made the decision yet. I'm gonna read, that's, that's it for this one. Uh, I don't wanna keep on reading the whole entire thing. You guys can go ahead and comment down below on that video or on this video below uh, so that I can get a reaction from you guys also. But uh, I, I thought about like growing it out and then I was just like, how can I, you know, how can I make this work? And I thought about it and I said, okay, maybe if I if I actually let it grow for a while and maybe like put like extension or something. Somebody had to mention that too. The only thing is just like waking up with it is so annoying, especially when your head is like, you know, pat down when you get up, like just, just seems like somebody Mm, marked you while you were sleeping so I hate that I hate the fact that it's all pat down you know that's why I had an undercut in the beginning I was really done with it like I said in the last video I used to grow my back of my hair to get dreadlocks and it got annoying and uh, I didn't also I didn't have the ability to turn it to dreadlocks but this time I do I think we can make it work like I keep on saying it's up to me to do so from you guys support so far I feel like I can do it I'm gonna measure it right now too to see uh, how long it is the back of my hair for one month. So if it can grow for one month or this long, every month if it adds this amount of length, oh yeah, this would be crazy. So literally exactly at, yeah, literally exactly at like one inch. So it was like right here. So one inch is right here and it was like right here. So that's, I would say that's great. Like that's not bad at all for one month of growth. An inch a month. If I did an inch a month, so by next month update, if I get two inches, like my hair super grows fast. Like sometimes I don't understand how fast it grows. Like people that do say that to me, it's hard for me to like to really gauge it just cause I just don't know. Like it's just me. So it's like you growing up as a kid, you didn't know how tall you were getting till you look back at like, you know, a few years back and say, oh, what the heck, I was that short? Or you had like your little measurement like in your year right next to it. And then you look back and they're like, what the heck? This is how tall I was this year. So like for some reason, I can't tell till somebody says it and I look back or something like that and I can tell growth of it. And uh, besides that, I dyed this green recently. Posted a picture by the way on Instagram. So make sure you guys check that out. And you can see the real color of what this looks like outside. Cause sometimes inside there's different lights that affect it. So like I have like a warm light right there. The house is kind of like a dim warm daylight. And then I have a orange and white light right here. So there's an orange effect to it, but let's see if I can give you a without the orange and then maybe turn off the back that light and then cut this out and show you all what this actually looks like this is the color of it looks super different right with all this light because this light is supposed to be just white of course the sun is now white this kind of has a, a tan color to it the actual from a reflection of your eye and the light that's that's normally there, this is what you usually you see. And the camera is, of course, tries to balance it out also because it's on the auto. So it's trying to balance the white light with the temperature light. So if I put it like, let's see if I can put it in different settings. Okay, so this is a different setting right here. Earlier it was on a daylight settings and this is on auto. So I think with the auto and a little bit of tweak right here that I'm gonna do, you'll be able to see the green and it looks super, super nice. It has a little bit of uh, a yellow or orange tan to it and that is because of the bleach that was there. Of course, if I reapply the green, it will cover out this the white, the yellow stuff that you see. So if you end up, you know, dyeing your hair green or anything like that, you wanna get rid of those little tan colors, you can apply the color that you used again on your hair and that will literally completely take it over. Well, I think I was running out of it also. And so, and I like it like this cause it's a representation of Pineapple World and uh, it was inspired by Pineapple World. And so this is all for the Pineapple World. So if you guys don't know what Pineapple World is, it is basically a place where your journey matters. We share people's journey, uh, what is going on out there uh, in this world about, you know, people's lives hair journey it could be even other journeys you know what I'm saying that we end up stumbling to that we, that's interesting uh, to for you for, for us to bring it to you guys so we've been featuring people uh, we'll be featuring one of you guys soon yeah this is the channel was made for you guys basically so make sure you go subscribe to it follow it on Instagram and also I have a Facebook page to where you can share your actual journey to people that uh, are in the same journey as you basically so yeah but I love this you know this is green for y'all man I'm gonna give you a 360 real quick. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And I like it, you know what I'm saying? Especially like taking picture of with it and stuff like that. I know I'm wearing red, so it's kind of like goes against it. But when I took a picture outside where there's like a green vibe to it, like it look good here. There are some pictures you can see right here. I appreciate you guys for showing some love on my Instagram on that. She guys gave me the 10K on Instagram so that I can give you guys a new color. But for now, this is what we're gonna stick with till we get to 10K on Instagram. Woo! 
<laughs> hey, yes, sir. I'm feeling it. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Till next time, keep acting the verse and creating your universe. Comment down below what your thoughts are on my journey and uh, what you would do different. Of course, if you're on the same journey with me, make sure you guys are subscribed and hit the bell and make sure you hit the like also because like really helps me out. I don't know why I don't get that many likes. I don't get like almost zero dislikes, but I don't get that many likes also. So I'm just like, how come I get like, you know, 5,000 views, 6,000 views or so, but I get like 200 people liking. I don't get it. Can you guys please bring it up? And I appreciate you guys so much if you do. So. Love you guys, man. Till next time, this is Activerse and we out.